in the two hours that passed. Hello Dungeon fans, it's Kevin from Level 9, Happy Holidays, decided to come on for a little bit during the uh, holiday break to uh, play a game. And tonight, uh, on the Liching Hour, we're going to play Zant, which happens to be a game I designed my, uh, myself. Uh, for, if you want some more information on it, you can um, check out the type exclamation point Zant in the, t uh, well actually if you're watching on YouTube, check the diddly do below. So, Zant is a cooperative storytelling game. Uh, it's, not, it's not a terribly complex game. It only takes about uh, maybe half hour, 45 minutes maybe to play. Uh, the premise, as of tonight right now, well, the premise, not as of tonight, but there's a slight modification because I'm playing it solo. But I just got back from an incredibly awesome, crazy adventure on the mysterious planet of Zant. There was one complication, however. On my way, and I assumed my team, well, just on my way back to the ship, being uh, teleported, uh, there was something, something went wrong. There was a bug in the system. And all my memories, all my brain, my memory, everything just started flowing out into space. All the data I could contain in my brain started leaking out into space. Luckily, the ship's AI caught all of it, gathered it up for me, and... Uh, has it waiting for me, but it doesn't know how it goes back in any order, in, in any kind of order. I've got to figure out that out my, for myself. The other complication is that somewhere along the line, uh, I lost my team. Uh, if you were playing a regular game of this, you would have other team members and you would be in the same situation where you're trying to remember your trip to the planet Zant. In um, a solo version, I've lost my team. I need to figure out why uh, and, and i'm going to do that by remembering parts of the story what's laid out in front of me are 40 some tiles that all represent my memory we call call them memory triggers and i'm going to be going through the process of uh, revealing them trying to find sets which will uh, a set will be a complete scene uh, once i have eight scenes i will have uh, fever the dungeon hey last war poodle thanks for joining me man uh, it's at eight, right? Yes, eight scenes. So once I have eight completed scenes, I will have a complete story beginning to end. Uh, I'm just going to kind of dive in uh, instead of explaining how to play. I am the captain because I'm the only one that's around right now. Uh, my job is to keep the team on task. So that's what I need to be remembering as I struggle to put my memories back together before I get back to Earth. Um... So first thing I do is I'm going to turn over two tiles. I might turn them off screen depending on the tiles. Oh, that was like directly behind my head. All right, I pulled up uh, biome, which I think I turned changed to environment in the final version. And uh, oh no, they're both biomes, but they're two different. That's good. That's good. Oh, I need a trait card. Hold on. I need to draw a trait card. I'm going to have in my hand. Okay. So I, uh, they're both biomes, but they're not a match. A match is uh, two of the same color. Uh, so if this is an incomplete memory and I have to choose one of them and then put the other one back, um, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, here we go. I'm going to put this one back where, where I find it. Well, no, that one was over here. Back, back over there. And okay, so the blue represents uh, the picture represents an emotion uh, the word represents a um, some some kind of element on the hey Merry Christmas to you too last war poodle uh, oh you know what for tonight's episode I forgot to put the chat in here that would be cool I should have put the chat over over here oh you'll just have to um, imagine the conversations that are going on in chat room right now YouTube viewers so uh, I have an incomplete memory here. I chose one of the tiles. I An incomplete memory is something like um, a detail. And I have to share a detail with the crew, with the team, 
at the table. Uh, and I can use anything on the, on the tile that is there to be used, which is the emotion, which is sadness, loss, or hurt, or the word, which is biome, uh, meaning, you know, a, a habitat, an environment. Um, I remember, I, re I remember saying, someone saying goodbye. I, uh, I don't know who it was. It was a woman and, uh, there was a lot of tears and saying goodbye, but it was a, it was, I remember it being a very, um, uh, it wasn't like a fun, it wasn't a farewell. It was a, uh, desperate kind of, um, uh, a desperate kind of goodbye. I'm going to say a desperate goodbye. That works. A desperate goodbye. That's what I remember. So what I do is I take this incomplete memory. I'm going to set it in front of me. And then that's now mine. And if I find another blue one and throughout the thing, I can use this one to complete the set. To make a complete memory. That was my turn. I added, I made a complete memory. Incomplete memory. Um, I, I remember a desperate goodbye. So now, my next current turn, I'm going to turn over two more. And uh, also matching the word, but not matching. Here we go. Put this in here. So another incomplete memory. And I have to choose which one I want to do. Hmm. So I'm going to. Green is uh, surprise, amazement, and awe. Purple is uh, fear, panic, and suspense. Zants are uh, the intelligent life forms that are on the planet. Uh, they are completely made up for the story that you're sharing with your friends. We're going to put Zant, this Zant over. And we're going to take this. This is an incomplete memory. It happens to have this circle at the bottom. There are two symbols. There are triangles or pyramids and spheres in your hand you'll always have a trait card uh, that you drew randomly in the beginning of the game this one is charming you are very good at flashing a smile and getting your way it has a circle at the top of the sphere because I have now played this incomplete memory with this circle I am obliged to place this uh, trait card down in front of me out of my hand it is now in play and I must incorporate it in the scene or the, um, actually for purposes of this, we're just going to do it for complete memories. But yes, for complete memories, not for incomplete. Incomplete, I'm just going to say, um, I remember, well, this, so this is fear, panic, and suspense. Yeah. I have this memory of, um, tentacles tentacles um yeah tentacles wrapping around one of my teammates just a flash that's all i can think of that's all i can, i mean all i can remember is what i mean so i take that incomplete memory i put it in front of me and it's my turn again oh i, I don't want to draw that one i just drew that one okay so i drew a yellow the Oh, right. I drew a yellow. I remember where the other one is. So I'm going to pull this over. Now I have a complete memory. I have a sphere. So i got to play my charming. Incorporate that in. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sharing a complete memory. And if I was sitting at the table with more than me, uh, I, would be, I would start the memory off by setting the scene. And then uh, um, player by player, in turn order... Each of the other players would add to that memory from their viewpoint on the squad, uh, depending on the job that they have. There are there's a scientist, there's a diplomat, explorer, engineer, security uh, are the other roles that people would have. But since I don't have other players, I'm playing solo. It's just going to be me com coming out with the scene. So uh, the uh, emotion is excitement, joy, and hope. Um, Location and biome are biome is more the environment. Location is ancient ziggurat or um, city or something that to that nature. And then I need to incorporate in charming. 
Um, okay, I remember. I remember that after days, we walked out of this great... We walked... Having found ourselves in this gigantic, this just massive jungle. Uh, massive jungle that likes we've never seen before. Uh, the fauna and flora were... Or the flora was completely bizarre. The um, the plants that seemed to be made out of uh, um, dust and glitter. Uh, they just the the molecules themselves had been separated and just kind of floated together, um, almost like a mirage. But you still couldn't put your hand through it. It would still you still would be stopped whenever you would touch it. Uh, n- not as much fauna. Like luckily, like there wasn't enough animals. We uh, I remember this being a this this jungle was kind of exciting uh, because it didn't feel threatening. And um, when we when we came out of uh, one very kind of thick part into a, uh, an opening and found this small village, we were e- ecstatic. We had come to the mysterious planet of Zant where no one else had ever come in order to find and to hopefully find intelligent life. So finding a village with huts and um, or maybe... Yeah, we'd say it's it was not hot. Um, I want to say hot. This feels too tired. They were um, uh, homes, obviously homes built out of the uh, uh, forest materials around us. So the walls and the, of this of the structures were made out of the very leaves that we were like. And, and plants that we were like so amazed by, and uh, I we remember this was the uh, the opinion the most the most happy we had been this whole trip was right then that was the zenix of it, and so now that I've shared a complete memory, uh, I'm gonna put this on the timeline. There's there's eight spaces on the timeline. Uh, we decide as a team where this is gonna go, which scene this is. I personally think this is the um, like the the fourth scene. Is it seven? Am I am I doing seven scenes? I think I think it's seven scenes, not eight, because that makes more sense. Five, six, yeah, seven scenes. Um, I feel like this is the the kind of like where stuff starts going downhill. Because remember, we've got to I got to figure out why my teammates didn't come back to the ship with me. Um, so I'm going to make this scene three. Okay. Now we continue on. I'm going to sifting through memories. Oh, I don't have a trait card of my, oh, wait, I gotta, let's see. So I remember being so excited, so ecstatic that the first time we saw a Zant, or no, um, no, no, we didn't see any Zant. And in this memory, we didn't. We find the village. I put on my best smile. And because I'm feeling so confident, we're feeling so good, I, pushing the diplomat aside, I put on my best smile and I confidently stride into the village. Um, maybe even calling out, hello. Hello. I don't think this story is going to end well. All right, I'm drawing a new trade card. I'll reveal it to you when I have to play it. Uh, okay, next turn. Let's see. Let's draw a couple. We got green plant, which is surprised, amazement, and awe. And I'll pick this one over here. And another yellow. So it's incomplete memory. I don't have either of these colors back as incomplete memory, so I have to choose between one of the two. Um, hmm. I'm going to do, where did I put this one? That one's there. I'm going to take this. I remember, um, I remember a, hmm. I don't know how this is possible, but I remember 
because I can't remember the full thing. I, I just like this is just a, a fragment. I remember a plant that looked like me. I don't know why. McTeddy. Yep. <laughs> yep. A nerd. Just five months in a row, man. Bum bum bum. So McTeddy, I have um I am working through uh subscription perks. Oh, I gotta thank you for that. Thanks for the email, buddy. Um I am working through sub perks. So one is uh you'll have access to the rule set and to missions of Star Jumpers, which isn't so much like in your camp, but but that is kind of this is gonna be me trying to get people who would want to play test it or play it for me. And then, but the other thing is, is if I get enough sub subscribers that are interested, I want to do a, start out at a monthly, a monthly run of a, a, a one shotting with uh, the Lich dungeon mastering, um, whatever system we decide we want to play, um, any system, well, any system that I I can comfortably play, uh, and once a month, and then if I can do it in in makeup, me me being in in the Lich makeup, and then as the Lich character, and then. Um, with the hope that I could get more and more subscribers who maybe do it once a week. <laughs> right on, McTeddy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And we are currently, I am currently trying to find out, A, what happened on my crazy-ass trip to the planet Zant, and B, where why my team didn't make it back to the ship with me. So far, I only have one complete memory, it is a memory of coming out of this crazy jungle and finding a village, being so ecstatic because that's what we had come here to find was intelligent life on Zant. And I strode confidently down into the village with my best smile. And I don't know what else happened. That's all I remember from that complete memory. And now I remember a plant that looked like me for some reason. I don't know why. I don't remember the context. That was... a. Uh, I have a couple, I have three, I have three in, um, incomplete memories here. Okay, so I will, I'm going to draw and draw this one. Oh, we got a complete memory. So mat colors match, so this is complete memory. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to play the trait from my hand. My trait is paranoid. You're very worried that someone's watching you or that you're going to be left behind. Um, okay, so the emotion is sadness, loss, hurt. The location and zant are the keywords. The memory terms. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I remember, I remember being, oh, very high up in one of the trees in this giant jungle we're in. So far up, I can't see the ground. Because I remember looking over and trying to see the village, maybe? I'm not sure. I couldn't see. I, I don't know if that's what I was looking for. But, but now I remember we were surrounded by Zans. And they were tall with tentacles for arms. And um, uh, they had two faces for each one. The, uh, their hair were like their hair. If they, if it was hair, whatever was on their heads, they had heads. They were bipedal. They had tentacles for arms and tentacles for hair. I just remember looking at them. I couldn't look at them too long because I, um, I don't know. I was I afraid. I can't remember. I can't pin down how I was feeling at that moment. But I remember looking around and seeing all the rest of my teammates and, um, Oh, I was, I was, 
uh, I was, I was, there was a reason I'm having trouble remembering my emotions because I was looking at everyone else's faces. All of us were, um, separated in this large area at this top of this tree. And like, a, a it was almost like a room at the top of the tree or a, um, not a tree house. Cause it was just a big platform. And there were these aunts and we were all communicating with them somehow, and, but we were all separated. And when I look over, I'd see the scientist and she looked distraught. Not afraid, but distraught, even sad. And then there were the other person, uh, the security, um, she looked she looked like she was crying, uh, or he was crying. And I I was feeling sad as well, and I couldn't look at them, but when I I realized that looking at the other reading the other faces is that's how I felt too. For some reason we felt very sad. And uh, I began I was beginning to be worried because I was the space between us all became much larger suddenly. Um, I wasn't sure why they felt and the, the emotion in the room felt exaggerated. Um, uh, and yes, that's how I, that's, that's it. This incredibly sad, crazy moment, uh, at the top of this tree, uh, and me being paranoid that something was wrong. I'm going to that scene. If we were playing with other people, then everyone would add to this scene. Uh, I would actually just set the scene and then everyone else would add to it. But um, I had to do the whole thing. So that, that scene, whatever that is, I think that comes right after the scene previously in the timeline. I don't have the, t I have the timeline off to the side, but uh, there's seven scenes. This is uh, our last one. Finding the village was our uh, third scene. This is going to be our fourth scene. Yeah. Or. Yes, our fourth scene. Okay. The idea being that we found this village and then the next the next memory in the timeline is us being somehow invited up or maybe maybe this is maybe there's a scene in between this maybe this is a five yes yeah 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 there might be a scene between these two all right so we got third scene and fifth scene all right next now i'm not going to keep drawing trait cards we're going to keep pairing paranoid and charming in a typical game, you don't ha you won't end up with more than a couple traits. Uh, I'm gonna draw this one. Oh, orange finally, orange and no, this one. Okay, <laughs> this course is colors we don't have incomplete memories for. So these this is incomplete. We got treasure, and animal, anger, outrage, and frustration, and excitement, joy, and hope. All right, so I'm going to keep, I'll put this back over here. I'm going to keep treasure as my incomplete memory. Uh, what I'm going to do is draw off the, I'm going to draw off both excitement and treasure and say that I remember standing when we first, I remember the first glimpse of, of Zant when we, when we walked out of our ship into the, um, into the environment into onto the planet. And, um, that we had this culmination of all these years of getting ready to come here and being selected to do it and walking out into this and the atmosphere is so rich that we didn't have to wear anything for oxygen. Uh, even the smells, everything was, I couldn't tell you what the smells are, but they were very, uh, it was heavy. Part of it was my excitement. Okay. So that was an incomplete memory. draw technology oh wait wait uh, I drew the first one it's green I have an incomplete memory that is also green so I can use that to create a complete memory I'm going to choose to do so we've got green which is surprise amazement and awe and technology in plant Okay, so I had that incomplete memory before I don't have to use that incomplete memory from before with the plant 
but I can like when I use this to do the complete memory I don't have to carry that through the incomplete memory I had but I'm gonna going to because it kind of makes sense the uh, bef we landed for some reason I don't think I feel like where we landed wasn't the jungle right we entered the jungle and before coming into the jungle we uh, when we approached the the very outskirts of it as we got closer to it there was this um, these uh, large bush bushes that weren't uh, that almost kind of created like a firewall around the jungle and as we approached the leaves were kind of um, leaves were like this big uh, and uh, they they at first when we walked up it seemed like they were moving in the wind but then as we got closer they kind of uh, took on a different type of motion and they all kind of flipped up and uh, created this kind of hexagonal grid or kind of just a grid of their leaves almost like creating a wall almost like they put up their hands but this was like hundreds and hundreds of these leaves it was all with one motion just kind of fanning out um, and across there was a ripple across the leaves and suddenly we there was it was mirrored and we could see ourselves in this mirror um we're not sure how that was we were very confused very excited and confused um surprised uh by this um the um there was very much uh, there was some fear among the group some people didn't want to go in after that uh we weren't sure what what had gone on we weren't sure if this was a um a security device or if this was our or this was just a natural function of these bushes when we touch it it would it would ripple like water the reflection would um and um pressing too hard the, the leaf would fall back and leave like a pixel open but then after a while it'd come back and um our scientist uh really wanted to see what was on the other side of this so she just walked she decided to be the first one to walk in she just walked in between some and then she came back out and said it's like walking through any set of leaves um yeah so uh that's that's the memory we we finally after we'd kind of gotten our fill of looking at ourselves in these mirror plants we all uh walked through them through the mirror into the jungle itself so that's going to be scene three no, I'm sorry, scene two, because we have scene three is us walking through the jungle and finding the village. All right, carrying on. Um, of course, I said something very charm. I, I was able to soothe everyone's worries and uh, that plus the scientists, the scientists, uh, courage to walk through because she just wanted to see what was on their side those two things got the whole team on board all right so next we're going to draw that and i don't have a color like that in my incompletes but i do have a blue we're going to put this sucker back technology and biome okay Huh. Which, which, wait, which smile seems overpowered? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. My charming smile? OP, bro. OP. Okay. Technology and biome. Hmm. And we're sad. Blue is sad. So this is a lot of this is not this is not a good trip. I have a feeling. Well, if I came back to the ship and my team didn't make it, they were uh, they uh, yeah they were either dead or something else bad happened. That's what the story's got to point towards. So the I think I changed biome to environment in the final one but we play off the jungle still oh um 
Okay, sadness, loss, and or hurt. Okay, uh, so I remember. Huh. Yeah, because uh, fear, panics. This will work. Okay. I remember running through this jungle. Um, running now. Running and... Um, I remember stopping from running because the memory starts with me having run out of breath. I turn... Um, the scientist is telling me something. She's saying, uh, um, it's all, it's all connected. It's all connected, she says. She's saying, it's all connected. And when I turn to look at her, the, um, all the, the flora and all the stuff that we were gawking at before um, has seemed to take on not so much a life, as it's starting to move, it's starting to um, develop, start moving in um, some kind of patterns that suggest uh, that it's it is uh, that it's functioning. That it's that it's uh, that's when I realized I've made the realization that this that every piece of this forest is some sort of technology because the leaves, um, the backdrop behind her, all flip, and even the ones that weren't the type that were the bushes out front flip. And you see, oh, suddenly we're surrounded in this kind of mirror, mirror kind of cage. And I look around, I'm looking around at both. And uh, I remember thinking that she needs to, I need to keep her safe. And um, I tell her, I turn back and I tell her, uh, it's going to be okay. But then something, something has reached down. These uh, vines from above have zipped down and wrapped themselves around her. And that's when I noticed they look more like coaxial cable than they do um, actual like um, organic uh, matter. And uh, suddenly she's being pulled up, and I grab on her feet, and I'm trying to I'm trying to hold her. I'm trying to bring I'm trying to um, to bring her back down, or at least just keep her where she is, or or go with her. And uh, the uh, I get lifted up. I'm kind of I'm holding on as desperately as I can to her legs, and I'm being lifted up as well. But then uh, something grabs me from down, from below, and pulls me down as well. And then I remember hitting the ground. When I hit the ground, uh, I get this. I don't. I'm. I'm. A, I remember being a little out, like crazy. I start moving the dirt because I, when I hit the ground, it doesn't feel like. Like I remember hitting the ground a lot when I was a kid. That's you know when you first develop your relationship with the ground is when you're a kid and you're falling on it all the time. And this didn't feel right. There was something not right about it. So I start digging in the dirt, and sure enough, um, a couple inches down, it's um, some kind of metal. It's smooth. It's like a plate. And uh, that's it. That's all I remember. So I lost the scientist. She got pulled up. I find this. I look up, and she's gone. But it so is, and I look around, and so is all the mirror that had happened. So that's definitely scene, uh, let's see, that was uh, scene two, three, four, five. Um, that's six. Is that six or is that my final scene? We'll say six. We'll see if I got a final in there somewhere. Let's see if I got a final in here. Okay, uh, next turn. Let's do teammate red is love compassion and caring all right we got an incomplete memory here um well this is an easy one i'm gonna take this and i still remember the feeling the uh the feeling of the scientist uh suddenly while i'm going through this I no no I remember a smell of her um, I remember her smell and then that kicks in a little bit of emotion and I realized that I had had um, relations 
with this person. Me and the scientist were lovers. Um, okay. Next turn. I drew that one once. Dang it. With this one. Well, well, well. We have a complete memory. Plant and teammate. Well. Um, and it is love, compassion, and caring. Um, so I think... All right, so the scenes we have left open are the very first scene, which I think this is what this is going to be. But we do have the middle scene. Like, we come out of the forest, the jungle, into a clearing. We find the village. Uh, we're excited. We walk into the village. This could play some kind of role in it before we're up in the top of the tree and, and something's going on and we're just sad. Um... Hmm. All right, we're gonna um, that we're gonna f flow off the incomplete memory that I had that I just had, and just kind of run with that. So this is gonna be the first scene when we first landed here. This the the emotion, the smelling her, the emotion I have had leads me into remembering completely when we first landed on the planet and how um, excited we all were to be having been there, but how the, uh, the what we saw as far as like plant life, what we thought was plant life, was uh, so, so amazing and crazy that um, I could just see in her eyes how, how big of a deal this was. Um, sure, her uh, she was our chief scientist. She was our scientist on a trip, but she was very much a um, um, a botanist at heart. That was like one of her major majors was the botany. So this was incredibly. This was a big deal, and she wanted to um, she wanted to rush out or something. She wanted to lead, kind of lead, and. No understanding. That's what led to her going into the forest and the mirrors. Uh, had me having been in love with her, I was totally let her do this. Uh, so she kind of took us out. I was letting her um, not so much lead the team, but um, uh, kind of be the driving force. She wanted to study this. She wanted to go here because of, of this certain thing that she saw. That's where we went. So we're going to draw that in the first as the first scene. All right. Um, we have two scenes left. Next turn, we have an orange zant and a red biome. So this is a incomplete memory. Um, uh, orange is anger, outrage, and frustration. And biome is the is the love, compassion, and caring. Hmm. We're gonna keep orange. So this just needs to be a texture. Hmm. I mean, I could go easy. I just, just I remember being angry at Azant, the life that, but that's. Um, huh. Oh, um. So. Uh, I remember the, uh, I get this flash of intense anger and the flailing of tentacles. I'm going to leave that there. 
and go to the next term. We're going to draw up this and this. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I, I have another yellow one, but I'm choosing not to use it. I'm going to draw another card. I do have another purple, though. So, um, teammate, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, fear, panic, suspense. This is going to be, well, this is going to be perfect for either of the two scenes that I have left. And look how fucking perfect. Zot and plant. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Um, fear, panic, and suspense. I think this is our fourth scene. Yep, for sure. So, here's what's going on. Here's what I don't... Well, no, you know what? I'll leave this for the last scene. I'll leave this for the last scene. Uh, I'll leave I'll leave what's going on for the last... Don't scare me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> McTaddy just told me not to screw it up. All right. Don't fuck this up. Okay. The, I remember, hmm. all right, I remember the um, sadness turning to something else. We were on the platform. Uh, negotiations had begun, or at least the introductions had begun. We had made initial contact with a new alien spe species. Um, as far as anyone had ever experienced this before, none of us had. This was going swimmingly. Uh, we had seemed to have been uh, brought in. We were taken up uh, to this dizzying heights of this tree, which we assumed was like where they truly lived and where their headquarters or the rulers lived. We're on this platform. Um, and they had separated us all, though. And we were unbeknownst to me other than by seeing their other their faces we were all struggling with the, the heightened emotions uh, uh one was sadness but now i'm remembering that there was anger too and this this anger that rippled through all of us was seen to be shared by the the zants as well the uh suddenly there's um tentacles flailing and arms flailing and people seeming to yell at yelling at each other and um humans yelling at zots and i'm screaming at this other one um and uh this memory comes in right as the i'm screaming and suddenly uh all that anger washes out of me and all that's back what is all it's there is terror uh because um, something had snapped, and then it, when it comes back, I realize I'm screaming at this two-headed, tentacled, um, writhing, tentacled face, uh, everything, hair thing, and it's screaming back, and I'm looking at it, and I'm feel all all that's left after the anger's gone is terror, but in its eyes, the four eyes, all I see is. Uh, cold uh coldness and uh frankly murder <laughs> i've seen uh murder and other that's something i have seen in my lifetime being a captain uh i've seen the look people give when they've had enough and uh suddenly everything had been gone quiet and when i looked over to my team i could see every single one of them scientist and security officer uh and uh, who else do we have the engineer all stunned and quiet wide-eyed as their as the uh tentacled um zants so, so slowly started moving out uh away from in between us and almost coming around to yes they're circling us they're closed they're they're bringing us together in a kind of a circle they're coming around us and that's when one of them picks up the engineer and throws him off the side of the platform. And I remember um, struggling and freaking out and punching. And the security, the security officer, that I hear the blaster 
of the the blast of the security officer shooting as I go over too, and I see see shots go off and wild, and I don't I hear scrapling and stuff, but then then it's just the wind as I'm fl- falling down, uh, hitting all these leaves. Hey, Hap Alien, uh, Merry Merry Christmas, <laughs> Viva La Dungeon, uh, and I'm flying down through the and I'm hitting the ground. But it's, I've, I've been stopped by all this different different stuff. It's almost as if stuff has been catching me and letting me go. Um, it's, this is this is one of the things that's kind of starts helping me support the idea that this this junk this maybe the scientist has figured out that this is all um, one unit. And uh, I hit the ground and I get up and I see her. And and uh, and we begin running and. Um, uh, looking well, running, not running away. Where I remember looking for my other teammates, and um, the engineer didn't land right, uh, and he's not getting up. And the scientist is telling me we must go, and go. And she's grabbing me, and we're running, and that's that scene, and that is definitely scene four. Okay, six scenes, one scene to go. Oh, just Flaming Santa. I um, when I turned this, I wasn't originally going to do this uh, filter, but it looks so damn cool that I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to keep this. It's Satan Claus. Just you know, regular old average Satan Claus. All right, last scene. Um. Oh, look at this shit! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. All right, so uh, I love it when a good story comes together. So um, I found a complete memory right off the bat. It's teammate and biome. Pretty damn fitting. Uh, this is what I'm realizing as I wander through the de- uh, through the desert through the jungle. Uh, yeah, I'm wandering through the jungle that that she had been taken. Um, this was all realizing that this whole jungle was one big, big piece of technology. Um, uh, not, I, I can't tell if this shit's organic or, 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 or built or designed or if it's organic, but has shares like, um, uh, mechanical kind of features, but I know that it's all, and I start yelling at everything. I, I start yelling at, I'm, I remember screaming at, um, the trees and the bushes and stuff, screaming, thinking I'm talking to the Zants, telling them I need to <laughs> hammer, hammer man. Welcome, my friend. I'm screaming at the at the, everything as I'm going by. I'm shaking plants. I'm I'm uh, and and it's responding and it's responding by showing me the um, the pictures of my teammates. Uh, I see her. I see the security guy. I see him dead. I see her. Um, I see her in her face and she's smiling and then she's crying and then she's angry. I see all this stuff is playing. These videos and stuff are playing. Like it's like and as I'm wandering and in my in my um almost just crazy fugue state where I'm just so out of it and and not sure what's going on, I it all starts coming together a little bit and starting to make sense. It's talking to me. And before I know it, it's guiding me. Uh they, the um, different parts of the plants are lighting up and uh, and coming alive to show me the videos, but they're almost they're all happening in one direction, and I realize I'm being led and I'm being told something, and then so when I come out of the jungle, and um, there, not you know, not too far away is our our um, our ship, that uh, or our, our vessel that contains the transporter unit that's going to transport me back to my ship. Uh, above, uh, I realize that um, everything that had been telling me was to stay the fuck away <laughs> and never come back, uh, and to make sure I take that message back home with me. And that's the only reason I'm still alive. And I look back in the jungle, look back at the jungle, and um, uh, it just becomes the whole thing becomes this mirror, uh, and I see a very uh, fragile and broken and unworthy person staring back at myself 
and um, this v- renews the fear in me, and I almost, almost my heart almost stops at the, all this comes crashing down in my head, and I turn and I run into the ship, and maybe it's my fingers um, typing in the transponder stuff or calling up the ship's computer. Maybe it's some mistake I made in my fear that caused my memories to to bleed out and the, the error to happen in the transportation back up to the ship. I'll never know that. But what I do know is that um, we better stay the fuck away from Zant. And that is the last scene of the story. Kick butt and chew bubblegum and I'm all out of butts and bubblegum. <laughs> that was, okay, so uh, that was the seventh scene. Uh, of playing the uh, story game Zant. For those of you who are just joining us, we are, I'm finishing up a solo run of a game I designed called Zant. And, uh, yeah. You can get a free print and play of it at uh, itch.io or a fancy board box version of it, which is... Um, it's a little pricey because it's print and play. So I mean, because it's print on demand. So usually, check out the free print and play first. See if you like it. Oh, that's you. That's what I got for tonight. That was our story. We went to the planet Zant. I lost my whole team because we dared to go somewhere we shouldn't have gone, and uh, we paid the price. Um, yeah, and that, that is that. Y'all have a happy holiday. That's me for, that's, that's it for me tonight. I just wanted to pop in and play a quick game and then say hi to my buddies. Thanks for stopping by, McTeddy. As always, thank you, Hep. Thanks, Hammerman, for saving me. Y'all have yourselves a great, oh, wait. Oh, really? Oh, ooh, yeah, ooh. uh, on, um. Like physically or is on on tabletop or whatever, you know, one of those uh, temp- tabletop simulators. <laughs> uh, so virtually. I'm interested in seeing what the Die Hard game's like. Tabletop simulator, yeah, okay. And the Fallout board game, are you going to play with the California expansion? Right on. Tomorrow night I am here. What? Uh, awesome. I I will be around. I will come check it out. The uh, I hear the California version of Fallout fixes every, uh, fixes a lot of stuff. I just that's my understanding is it fixes some things. Um, yeah. I feel like it's a game that. I, I would like to spend some time with to figure it out because once you figure it out, it could be. But I still will say, Wasteland Express Delivery Service is the game that Fallout should be. I don't know if you've played uh, Wasteland De- Delivery Express or Wasteland De- Express Delivery Service. Uh, anyway, it's fantastic. Yeah. It has good ideas, but I don't think. Uh, yeah, I I I'm sad to say I gave it many many tries. Okay. If you ever get a chance to, same people who make Dinosaur Island. I forget their name. They're good though. All right, y'all. I you all. Um, I will see you Saturday. If anybody stop by, Pogley and Blory will be doing a video session on Saturday instead of Friday. Um. And I will be picking up Tales from the Dungeon with Apocrypha the f- a week from Saturday. Y'all have yourselves a great night. Feel the Dungeon.